You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Super excited to check out two older toys from Jurassic Park. Okay, everything's tumbling now. Tumbling, tumbling down. Now they won't stand. Let's try to get them one more time. Maybe I can prop this one against this one. You don't want to stand, do you? Okay. I don't know why. They were standing for, you know, a good few seconds before the video. Hmm, let me see. Maybe this needs to pop out. Alright, well, that's the woes of doing toy videos. You just never know when things are going to fall over, especially older toys like this one. Like these, actually. Alright, little story now. So I was at Salvation Army. You see the sticker, $2.97. That's a really good price for these. A lot of times those Salvation Army Goodwills have a special counter, which is, you know, protected. Only employees can get to. That's where these were. I saw them up there. They were sideways, hard to see. I kind of had to move around, move around, and ask somebody, hey, can I check those out? And as soon as I saw them, I said, oh, I'll take them. So as far as great ability, like if you're into vintage toys and collecting them, I'm going to put this into good to fair condition. Meaning that uh, there's a bend here in this card. There's a rip and a little bend on that. This one's nice. There's a bend in that corner. This plastic is all bent. That's why it didn't stand up. And then there's fraying on the edges. The plastic is bent on that one. So I'm going to open them because I like showing older toys. Actually, I thought these cards on the front were hilarious. It says safe when small. And you see all of them like all over them ready to just eat them up. Playful when young. These are the movie collector cards. Now, of course, these are from... Are you going to stand? The 90s. And look at all the ones you could have gotten in the set. Now we got Alan Grant and then the uh, Robert Muldoon. Okay. And then the Robert Muldoon here with firing Trang Bazooka. Looks like it shoots off his shoulder. I don't remember Bazooka in the movie, but also includes the T-Rex hatchling. Seems cute now, but he'll grow to 46 feet in length. The most fearsome hunter ever. And the uh, Alan Grant has a Pteranodon hatchling. Seems harmless now, but when full grown, his beak serves as a deadly weapon to spear his prey. He has what looks like a launching net. And then there was Tim Murphy, Ellie Settler, Dennis. Now, I haven't seen this movie in a very long time. I don't remember Dennis Nedry, but I probably would if I seen it. Arms rip off to reveal dino damage. Oh, that would have been cool. Then, of course, all these selections of dinosaurs. It's a Kenner product from 1993. So in regards to collectability, yes. Are they worth more not open? They sure are. Are they worth less being open? Yes. Are they worth a little bit more having the packaging? Like if you didn't have the packaging, but they were opened, no packaging is probably the least value, unless it's a super rare item. So what I like to do is one, be very careful when I open these because I will put them back. Sometimes you can't even tell that I open some things depending on how this seal is here. This one looks like it's on pretty good. So there's gonna be no clear cut way to get into these easily, but I will do my best. Now, a lot of times I don't take the whole piece of plastic off and you have to use a sharp object for this. So I'll do this, I'll do this. And then I'll be able to get this out. And then I have the video for reference if and when I need to put it back together, which I do right after the video. Now, getting out this card, I, let me grab one of my uh, little tools, which is actually a set of tweezers. Let's see if I can get in here. See, so, you now I just carefully pull it out. So when I put this back together, I'll just put a little piece of tape to re -sew. you can actually re-glue it back, but you know, you gotta let people know that it's been out of the packaging. So here's the card. I don't re I don't do this to deceive people. Now there are people that will repackage things to deceive collectors. I do it because I like to store them back to where they were. Here's his net. And here he is. Safe when small. That little JP, if you see that little JP on dinosaurs and garage sales, buy them up. I still haven't shown you my whole collection. It's a whole bin. And then here is this little piece. I'm not sure exactly what everything is just yet. 
And then here is his backpack. Everything's still pliable and usable. Okay, that falls out. I don't see anything that necessary. Oh, okay, I get it. Ah, so this is the launcher. All right, so let's see. How do we, how do we saddle them up? Do they show you? Kind of. Let me leave that up there. And then this is gonna go on his back. This is gonna go like this. This should go over his shoulders and his waist. Okay, and then, oh, they just, little pins, clip on the little pin. Oh, should be the last one because it just won't reach. That's his waistline, I guess. And it's not easy to get in. All right. Struggling. They put this, it's kind of in the way. It's hard to get your fingers in there. Yeah, you gotta really stretch. Almost, all right, I'll have to play with that. And then, hmm, this looks like it clips on somewhere. Oh, this holds in his hand. He's got it in his hand. It's like some kind of radio device in his right hand. All right, buddy. It just like clipped onto here. Looks like he's just holding it like that. And then this all clips into here. Does it launch out? Yeah, it looks like it. Let's see. Maybe it just launches up, you know what I mean? Like you clip this onto here. It looks like there's a spot for it there and a spot for it there. Of course you would wind it up. Then you'd press this and let's see. Oh yeah, look at that. All right, you are over there. Well, here's the card, here's what I was telling you about. Is that hilarious or what? It looks like he has got him on his hands, or the shadow there, uh, sitting on his head, hanging on his shoulder like Polly wants a cracker. Safe when small, card number 11. Grant with Pteranodon, hatchlings, winged and toothless, 23 feet wingspan, 44 pounds, fish is their diet. Late Cretaceous, approximately 65 to 85 million years ago, North America. And then there's a little dino trivia. Did Pteranodon have feathers? Oops. No. It is speculated Pteranodon's wings were covered with a thin, leathery skin, and its body had a fur-like covering. Probably more like a bat, huh? Okay. Let's see. Let me do this. I'm going to work this carefully off camera, just so that I don't break it in any way. Oh, wait. Hey, I'm, let me get that one in first, because it's closer. Oh, let me not. That's on there now. You kind of, kind of like pushing it over. I'll, I'll be right back once I get this on correctly. Well, wow, you almost need to get another tool in there. All right, I'll be right back. All right, I actually had to use tweezers, but I think I got them just like the picture. I will show you one more time, just so you can see what I see. And then... Here is the little picture here. This is what I'm going for here. It looks like that's storage on the side. Then you take it and loop the net up and then launch it. And then you catch your little dino. Let's see. Here we go. So now you had this like this. Okay, I think I had it right. And then this looped up. And then like this. They actually show this going up, and then you launch. Let's see if we can catch him. Let's get the camera right for this moment in time. Never before seen. And it's very, it, it, you know, it doesn't hold it in really tight because it's got to come out, so. Here we go. Which way do we stand? I'm over here. Wee! Here we go. Okay, we know the distance now. Right about there. 
Now the angle's going to change now because I'm holding it a little bit differently, so we'll see if we can hit this just right. Okay, here we go. Launching now. Oh, right over it. It didn't come out the right way either. Let's do it again. I'll try it one more time. Oh, by the way, I had to use a... And this thing actually moves on him. This should stay down. I noticed that when I was setting them up so that you can launch it better. Now it's got to go over the other piece of belt. It takes a little while. Alright, that's it, but we can still launch. It took a tweezers to actually pull that out just to get it right. Alright, here we go. This should do it. Oh, right over him again. Alright, well, we know what it does. Let's move him off to the side. Let's bring in package number two. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm taking a sharp object. This is like a letter opener that I've used before. And I'm going underneath, trying to find a spot where this plastic is a little loose. And making sure I break through so I see the tip. And then you just kind of run it along carefully. The more time you take, of course, the better this is. Now, I have already lost it there. For sake of video time. Okay. There, so I think it's still good. It'll still go back together real nice. Okay, that tucks in. And let's get the tweezers out. Oops, sorry. You see any of that? I don't even know. Sometimes I get so caught up in what I'm doing, I'm not paying attention to the viewfinder. So I do apologize if that was the case. This one says, playful when young. Oh yeah, they're just nipping at his uh, kneecaps there and his ankles, having fun, playing with his shoelaces. Boldoon with Tyrannosaurus Rex Hatchling, king of the tyrant reptiles. And there's some details. When was the first Tyrannosaurus Rex skeleton discovered? I don't know. In 1902 in northern Montana, it was first described by Henry Fairfield Osborne in 1905. Let's check out the bazooka. Okay, stand. Now, just like the other one, just the legs at the hips and the arms move. There was no other knees or bending. All right, there's a launcher, a pack. Here's his little baby nipping at his knees. Mmm, tasty human. Alright, so here's the same kind of pegs. Yes, and, and when you play with older toys like this, you always run the risk of damaging them, but we try not to do that. I try not to do that. So it looks like this is his holder. And then, here we go. Let's get this on him. Should be easier to put on. Get these out of the way. Okay, one's on. Oh, let me go out a little bit. Here again, I think they give you three holes. I don't know why. Because it's only going to work in the one hole. Maybe the further one or the second one. Maybe it's the second one. I don't know. You get a new toy, you got to learn how to play with it, right? Alright, so what I did was I took my tweezers like this and I stretched this just to kind of reach. Uh, almost. Okay, so that's on him. Whoosh! Whoosh! Alright, so his weapons are now in place. Okay, I guess he's trying to kill his dinosaurs. I'm not sure, so let's get his bazooka launcher. The trank, oh, the tranquilizer. Oh, those are tranquilizer missiles stored in the back. Okay, so it goes this way. They have his right arm resting on his shoulder. There's no, oh, here's, the, here's probably where his hand goes. So it's like this. And then launch, and then you press this tab. 
Uh, so you kind of hold them like this. Oh, oh, that shot really good. All right, I got to go find that. But you're sure I'm holding with one hand and going, oh, yeah, all right. So let me go get my other tranquilizer. And we'll just, I'll show them one more time, get them set up just right. I will be back. Okay, I was just getting the second one set up. And let me get all of his stuff in the right way. So they were calling them missiles and tranquilizers. So it looks like they are a little, each is a little bit different. Oh, I forgot his net. Let me roll that up. Okay, and your little buddy nipping at your ankle. He'll be nipping at his kneecap. There you go, tasty. All right. This pack needs to come down a little and then reset, but we'll leave it where it's at. Because that's what's forcing his head in that position. I'd have to unhook it and redo it. So we'll just leave it like that for now. We know how it works. So there you go. This thing launches really nice. Here, I'll launch it right at the camera. Let's see what happens. Hit right at the camera lens. Oh well, hopefully it's still okay. Well, there you go. So you learned a little bit about collecting and about vintage toys, what to look for, how you find them, and as always, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy these two figures from Jurassic Park. And I don't know, the last time I said I want to show my dinosaurs, everybody kind of, I didn't get a lot of return comments back. So this time I'm going to put up an official poll. And I'll just bring the whole bin in and show you all of them one by one. And if you want to see other dinosaur videos, though, I do have a playlist and you can check that out. And thanks for watching and supporting Lucky Penny Shop. Later! If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.